let's talk Raiders. What? Because that is yeah. truly, uh, I guess you could say there's a quarterback competition with the Broncos, although uh, I, I think the general sense is that Bo Nix is going to start mm-hmm. week one, even though we haven't seen any preseason action from him yet. But the Raiders, like, that's a legit quarterback competition. That's a legit competition, quarterback right? competition. What is happening there? Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew. If that doesn't make you just get excited and want to get out of bed, I don't know what will. Uh, <laughs> is that harsh? Uh, <laughs> well, if you're asking... Uh, Raiders you know, yeah, fans? Kind of, no, no, but no, I, I understand where you're going Right, with that. right. So, like... the Talking to people around the Raiders, it's kind of a toss-up. They like what Aiden O'Connell brings to the table. The kind of X factor that Gardner Minshew has that they also like is just kind of the intangibles, like the leadership, the ability to bring guys together. Um, So it's very much a a competition. When you watch the reps at practice, it's very, when I was there for a day, evenly Mm -hmm. divided. Um, But neither one of them is jumping off the page. So it's probably going to be more about the guy that can just be consistent and, and obviously utilize their playmakers. I mean, Devontae Adams, I have to say, the day I was there, I was very excited to see Devontae in person and up close. And it's like neither one of them could really find Devontae Adams. Oh, gosh. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the, the narrative in our business is that, you know, for a while, it's that Adams, you know, to be blunt, wishes he didn't leave Green Bay now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, obviously, he's paid a significant amount of money. And obviously, he left uh, initially as well. Part of it was he was going to play with his college quarterback and Derek Carr, and he's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the other part of it that uh, you would hear is that he's closer to home in the West Coast Mm -hmm. or the Pacific time zone. But then you see, you know, Receiver on Netflix. Yeah. And then you can also sit here and say, well, he was – cursing his head off about Jimmy G and what was going on in the Josh McDaniels offense. And that's all gone. Mm -hmm. So, but to hear though, you know, just from one practice, obviously we extrapolate so much in our business. Is there any there, there? What do you think? Well, it's really interesting because I think they're probably going to try to make it work right through the first part of the season. Then the trade deadline will come. Now what I'm very interested in seeing is is Tom Telesco, right? He was the general manager of the Chargers for years and years. Mm -hmm. Now he's with the Raiders. Now he took quite conservative approaches to the trade deadline and to unloading players or bringing players in. It just, he just didn't do it. So I'm going to be curious in the Raiders organization with Mark Davis and with Antonio Pierce, if that method changes and they decide if things aren't going how they would like it to, if they go put Devonte Adams up and, and put him on the trade block and see what they can get in return because it would be probably quite the haul for yes. them. Uh, but kind of historically speaking, that hasn't really been Tom Telesco's MO when it comes to the trade deadline. Although, you know, you got to give it up though. The fact that Antonio Pierce is the head coach mm-hmm. and the fact that they missed out on all the rookie quarterbacks because of the winning that was done when Pierce was the interim. Mm-hmm. Why can't the Raiders continue on this year and do it with him now, right? Yeah. And if, if Minshew if, is an upgrade from Aiden O'Connell, then it should be better. Or if Aiden O'Connell was a significant part of the winning that happened when Pierce took over last year, maybe he is a guy and, and Adams will be happy and the Raiders can actually be in the mix and the Raiders team that mm-hmm. shocked the Chiefs on, on Christmas as the last team to beat the Chiefs. Yeah can actually make some hay this year. I mean, that's, I know, I, I know not, I just looked at the glass half full, but that's, that, that's not out of the realm what I just yeah, said. And their defense is obviously incredibly good. They proved that last season and they have the same guys coming back this year. Um, so there's no reason why the Raiders can't be a very much improved team, especially on offense. It's just going to, as it does with every team, come down to the quarterback play and, if those guys can successfully and consistently, you know, run that offense. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.